How are you doing? accepted my request. I know. Well, listen, I was having a little bit of some technical difficulties, but we are here now. How are you doing? I'm fine. Talk about technical difficulties. <laughs> so let me reframe this business. Um, First of all, I love your glasses. Those are so cute. Oh, thank you. You know, it's the being in the house. I'm just like... Let me just let me just be comfortable, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. Absolutely. We've got so much going on in the heart why if you know. Yeah, no, absolutely. I will definitely um chat about that, but I do want to say congratulations. Season 5, we're one week away for Greenleaf. How excited yes. are you? It's a completion of an entire series. How do yeah. you feel stepping away from it and uh what can we expect? It is a momentous occasion for sure. Um how does it feel stepping away from it? Well, I feel as though I, I carry this legacy with me all the time. It's yeah. just part of my, part of the way that I walk through the world now because we have done a really great job of, I think of putting a spotlight onto our experience mm -hmm. and talking about and celebrating our voices, our beauty, loving our culture and um, the, the great thing about my character, Grace Greenleaf, is is that she's a listener. She hears, and she she is always going to stand up for what um, is not right. And I think that now I move through this world, and people see that part of my countenance. And um, it is it has been a, a great gift to me, professionally and personally. Absolutely. I've really enjoyed it. Absolutely. What's the one thing that you're going to miss the most about your cast? I know that, I mean, it's been almost five years with them and I know it's obviously a family unit now. So what is it yeah. like? I mean, obviously you guys will stay close afterwards, but. Yeah. I, what am I going to miss? Yeah. I was talking about this the other day. We had so much fun. Um, I, I'll miss uh, my siblings holding me down and tickling me until I scream bloody murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss um, the jokes on set. I'll miss daddy and, and the way, well, I'm, you know, they're still going to be in my mm. life, but the way that you walk through these halls and uh, the corridors and you can hear the bishop singing from <laughs> echoing down the way and, um, and uh, his jokes and his, his isms. He's just so, uh, he's such a classic. And uh, Lynn has spot on impersonations of everyone. Those are hilarious. Um, it, it's gonna, there's a, a lot of things. I'll miss the crew. They're such good people and they're so good at what they do. And they've really been my teachers. It's been my film school because they've really taken me on. A any day off that I had, I apprenticed a different apartment, department and I felt very lucky to have the ability to do that. Um, and uh, Atlanta, we we'll miss Atlanta. That's what oh, we Oh man, yeah. Absolutely. I can only imagine. Because where are you now, if you don't mind me asking? I'm in L.A. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, um, I would miss Atlanta, too, especially the food. I can imagine <laughs> that that has to be amazing. Um, Grace has definitely evolved over the years. What would you say was your first um, idea of Grace? And how has that idea evolved along with who Grace is today? What was your first um, initial thought about who Grace was when you first read the script? Of, or the treatment for Greenleaf and how has that changed today? How has she also changed? When I first met Grace, she was in so much pain. She continues to be in pain, but she was in fear as well. And she was wielding that sword out of fear. And as we've seen her encounter all of her demons, slay them, confront them, deal with them, even when they abide within her own self, mm -hmm. that she has grown and uh, and also in her way of dealing with it. The the moment that she stepped down from okay, if you haven't seen season four, I'm here's a here's a spoiler, okay, so um, <laughs> catch up on season seasons one through four on Netflix or or uh, Amazon or however you you stream your stuff. But here's here's a spoiler. When she was in the pulpit, she saw her stuff, her own stuff. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, yes, I own it. And this, and I will step down so that I can deal with it. Mm -hmm. uh, the import of her. Uh, and, I, and I feel like all the characters do, ha have had to do that. They have to, yeah. had to 
to turn the mirror on themselves rather than pointing pointing the finger. And there's when there's an actual person that she that is looking at you like, look at me, meeting mm. her son. There's no there's no getting away from that, especially in front of the entire congregation. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. I wanted to um put out some facts about Greenleaf as well as the impact that it has made. Greenleaf season four became the number one original scripted series for African-American women and total viewers and was the number four original scripted series on cable for all women 25 to 54. When you think of that impact, especially as a black woman, all these, all these black women who look like you, who can relate to you in many different ways, what is it like to have a platform where you can reach so many people and have that type of influence? I mean, that's amazing. And I know for me, I've followed all five or four seasons and I will into season five. What is it like being able to touch your community in that way? Mm. At first, it was it was rather intimidating. I have to say that it, I was I had a tendency to kind of shrink from it because I'm an introvert. And as the import of what we're able to do for the culture, for our people, and, and, and also just for families, no matter what their skin color, that mm -hmm. they were able to open conversations, they were able to um, uh, feel seen in many different ways. It, it goes beyond just my personal comfortability. And I think that uh, that is something that is extremely applicable right now, mm -hmm. in that um, it, it doesn't matter if it makes you uncomfortable. Right. We have to, we have to, we have to um, look it right in the face and we have to deal with it. You have mm -hmm. to deal with it within yourself. And, and then now having a platform like this, um, my, my biggest thing is I have to listen to and uh, educate myself in every way about what is going on in the world, what, uh, you know, staying up to date on, on um, you know what changes actually have to come and how I can support that. So to have a have a platform, Merle, uh, Merle fan says um, Grace was the first to say "Time's up." Yeah, and yeah. It, you know, it's, we did a lot of revolutionary things, mm -hmm. and um, to have that kind of platform right now, it is a powerful, powerful place to be, to be able to amplify those words. So, you know, I um, sit down and I ask all the questions of the leaders of the Black Lives Movement. How can I assist you? How can I yeah. help you? How can I amplify your message? How can I throw my shoulder behind and, and, and um, increase your momentum? And, um, and also knowing for myself, how I stand on all of those things and, and, yeah. and what, what I abide in and not, not this sense of, uh, you know, just following the crowd because the crowd is going, knowing, knowing exactly what you cause we all have different lanes and, mm -hmm. uh, and giftings. So knowing exactly how God is speaking to you to, to do that. And that begins with, um, I believe, our testimony is one of the greatest gifts that we can give this world, the way that we have our personal experience and, and to share that and to tell people, um, you know, especially people who may not understand this movement that's happening, but they may love and understand you when the, the sometimes this actual astonishment on their faces when I tell them my stories yeah, is remarkable. Mm -hmm. And if you just start there, it's a, it's a wonderful place to start Absolutely. if you don't know where to start. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. Do you feel um, that Grace has uh, fulfilled her, whatever it is, her destiny, her journey? I know for me, when I first was introduced into, to Grace, she had so, I feel like she had so many plans, so many things that she came into the family after being gone for so long that she wanted to accomplish do you feel like she has fulfilled her own momentum by the end of the season? Obviously, you know how it ends. Um, do you feel like she has fulfilled herself in whatever her mission was? Hmm. To... That would be hard to answer without giving away spoilers, but I will say that I am extremely proud of the growth that that she experiences this season and, and the revelation that comes over her. And mm -hmm. that requires, again, uh, the courage to look with it. Yeah, absolutely. What was it like shooting the last uh, scene 
Mm. for the series oh i know i i know it has to be so emotional what was that moment like obviously you can't tell us what the scene is but what feelings went through you and the cast i will say that no when you see it whatever you're feeling we felt a hundred times over. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I had I had the great gift of being the very, in the very last scene shot of the series and, you know, to be there with the crew and, um, and just celebrate in that moment how far we've come. And, you know, this past year, we lost three of our crew members. Mm. And, um, you know, we hold them close in heart and, and you'll probably see little snippets of, of um, our celebration of them on the set uh, in, in the way that they have, uh, the way that we memorialize them on the set. And um, it was, it was profound in so many ways. Yeah. And I feel I, it was a lovely way. It was a lovely way to go, but uh, it was hard. Who did, did anyone cry? I'm sure, I'm sure you guys did. We all cried. <laughs> We all cried. Yeah. It was, I mean, there's, there's no question that yeah. the journey has changed us and we're also proud of it. This moment in time has, uh, uh, it, it's done so much for so many, including us. Mm -hmm. So when, when you're, work and what you feel is part of your purpose on this world this world intersect it is a beautiful spiritual experience and that's absolutely. what greenleaf has been absolutely um we well we won't necessarily see the end of the family uh you guys did announce that there will be a spinoff yes <laughs> i know so I'm, okay so will we see i know i'm like okay any details anything that you can give us there was a short snippet and um, in connection to you guys' announcement for season five, what can we expect with the spinoff? Will it sh like kind of shadow around the Greenleaf family or will this be the next generation with um, Lovey and Desiree? What would you like to see, my dear? Ooh, I personally would love to see the, the next generation of the Greenleafs. I, I really, I would. I, I really want to see where um, Sophia, especially with that, the feeling of her um, not being able to have a child. I think that that's very profound. Um, a conversation that's not often talked about, especially within womanhood. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, being able to tell that story for so many women who do struggle with that. Um, I think it's nice to have um, a young woman who's going through that at such a young age. Like typically yeah. that's something that people struggle with when they're older, when they're mm -hmm. starting to have kids, but this is a teen, you know, an adolescent. Right. So, um, to me, I would. I would like to see um, Lovey's character, um, you know, going, moving past the abuse. And yeah. um, so I think in all of those different conversations are things that happen to teens, young Black teens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and mm -hmm. I think that that's amazing that Greenleaf has highlighted that in, in such an amazing and comfortable and caring way. Because yeah. it's nice that, you know, these two young girls have had a family support system, even though the family's gone through their own mess they've always been supported um, in that way. So that is what I would personally like to see. Everyone else can obviously share what they would like in the comments as well, but that's what I would like. Yeah, do share in the comments, what would you like to see? But I, I, I am, um, my interest is piqued by what the life of the young people would be, especially watching this phenomenal movement that and energy that the mm -hmm. young people are, are in our in our world right now and how they're just taking to the streets and saying we don't give up okay give us what we what we need you know right. the, the time for uh nicey nicey is over now now we just you know and i just love it the yeah the audacity and the fire i you know there's something to be said for that and and um watching that narrative would be would be really interesting as well yeah absolutely and obviously, you do have other things going on after the end of Greenleaf. Um, the flight attendant yeah. is your new is your next project. Can you tell us about that and your role and how yeah. you signed on for that? Uh, it's a uh, I'm in love with you too. Whoever that is, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's a murder thriller that mm -hmm. um, was actually, I believe it's supposed to be already, already supposed to be out now on mm -hmm. uh, HBO Max. But of course, of course, uh, as Yamla says, the COVID got us. <laughs> it, uh, right. Shut down production. And it's a fantastic show. Uh, I just, I, I really enjoyed it. The writing is fantastic. The cast is extraordinary. Uh, led by the incomparable Kaylee Cuoco, who, uh, you know, you, you all know from Big Bang Theory, probably. And uh, it, it just good people. And um, I play the FBI agent who's getting to the bottom of things. <laughs> Very studious. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been it's been fun because, you know, I was a New Yorker for so long and in the Broadway community uh, for, you know, a couple of decades. And I think the rite of passage for a New York actor was doing a Law & Order episode. And I've never done Law & Order, but now here I am shooting on the streets of New York like, a, like with an F, as an FBI agent. And I, I feel like, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm a New York actress now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, I look forward to it because I would love to see you in a thriller. So that's exciting as well. Um, what do you feel like because I mean you like you said you do come from Broadway yeah I would like to ask are there obviously there's major differences but what skill sets have you taken from Broadway that you've implemented into TV or scripted series uh work ethic for sure a spirit of collaboration um uh humility to the craft in, in that uh I um, doing your very best with the work, being prepared, being on time, uh, mm -hmm. coming, coming correct. Because on the stage, you either can or you can't. You have to train that, that uh, your your skill set. And uh, I, I really appreciate that. That there is a um, there's just a, a can do attitude and a, a sense of togetherness. We must all do it together. And uh, you know, there, in, in every every profession, there is, um, oh, I'll just say that. It's a sense of yeah. collaboration, and I really appreciate it. I love the theater, and I love the immediacy of it as well, because mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I felt like that helped me in controlling the temperature of the room when Grace was able to preach and and all of that, which was really, really fun to be able to go off script and just, you know, let it rip. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to see if uh, some of these, the uh, viewers are asking questions. Um, so for people who are asking when this next season is, it's going to be in one week. Um, Tuesday. Yes. Did and anybody then, see Going Up Yonder last night? I did. I watched. Yes, absolutely. What'd you think? I loved it. I'm glad that you guys, it was nice being able to see you guys as different snippets of over the years and how you guys yeah. reflect on your character as well. Um, obviously, Patti LaBelle um, being... Come on. Yeah, right. Like, I mean, of course, that's just amazing. And it's, I, while I hate the fact that we're in quarantine right now, it's nice that we're all able to collectively come together virtually. So it was nice being able to see you guys talk amongst one another um, in that way and have a comfortable conversation. Mm -hmm. um, I love that Keith David had said that he actually wanted to be a pastor. So this was his way of being able to live through his his dream. So that's, mm -hmm. that was awesome. But yeah, everybody who has not seen it, please check it out. It is very heartwarming and very touching to see you guys all come together. And that's really how we leave off with season four is you guys are coming together. I want to know, you know, obviously you can't tell us, but will the Whitmores push through or will the Greenleafs be able to come together? And I, well, I'll say that since you can't really give us that spoiler, who should we pray for within this next season for season five? Who shouldn't you pray for? <laughs> I mean, some of the things that pop up in this script, I was just like, really? The really, the, it's amazing. But uh, I, I think it's an interesting uh, dynamic to have um, have the this, I guess, occupying force come into something that they had built from the ground up with heart for so long and that, you know, they're a church family and then suddenly uh, a, a, a bigger conglomerate, a corporation comes in and says, oh no, we know how to, how to um, love you better. Right. We know. Right. 
Right, which speaks to a lot of issues that we face as Black people today when it comes to our Black-owned businesses mm -hmm. and our communities. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then my last question is, um, as Juneteenth comes this Friday and we commemorate the final um, physical stage of our free freedom as Black people, as a Black woman, um, what does it feel for you today? I mean, we, like we said, we spoke about um, the issues that Black people face. Um, as we celebrate that final physical stage of freedom for Black people, what is it for you that you think about um, as a woman of 2020, a Black woman of 2020? Um, what does it mean for you, especially with everything that is going on right now? Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, I used to think that, um, I, I used to think less of my experience, like, oh, somebody else has a, a more, you know, dynamic or dramatic uh, issue or this, that, and the other thing. And what I am coming to realize and, and really know in my heart is um, the love of self being the love of the whole and, mm -hmm. um, and knowing that, yes, my story really, really matters. And together as, as we continue to, to um, give visibility and understanding and uh, voice to everyone's, everyone's story that we all rise higher and, and we all, um, in valuing that, mm -hmm. we value all of us. Right, absolutely. Because they're not gonna value us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, as, as we've seen, but right. I will say that our, our allies, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the way that they have, uh, many of them have engaged. And the ones who put their dukes up and get really defensive, why are you being defensive? Period. There's nothing to be defensive about when it comes to equality for all people. That should be a very simple concept to understand. I yes, agree. Exactly. Absolutely. So Absolutely. the examination of all these things and um, the love of our experience is um is a powerful forward moving tool to value ourselves absolutely well thank you so much a lot of people are asking are grace and darius going to get back together that is hey! all our... <laughs> so... grace and her man problems man you'll see both of them you'll see both of the men this season uh oh so you heard it here first from Merle, but Congratulations <laughs> again. Thank you so much for talking to us here at Where's the Buzz TV. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, yeah, thank you again. Congratulations. You well, I'm proud of you. Thank you for amplifying our voices. Thank you for doing what you do. You're awesome. Thank you so much. And Jim, beautiful. Y'all are she beautiful? <laughs> thank, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Same to you. And I'm going to have to find them glasses, girl, because those are All super right. cute. <laughs> but thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz you said was mine?